Hello everyone and welcome back to the Griot's Garage YouTube channel. My name is Nick, or the lesser known Nick at Griot's Garage, and today we're going to try something a little bit different. As you can tell, we are not at the flagship store. Uh, we're out on a cover car shoot for our handbook for a winter season shoot, and we do these year round. If you get our handbooks, you know we've got different seasons, and each handbook features a different cover. So like I said, we're out shooting a winter cover right now, and one of our goals is to show you guys a little more behind the scenes of how these cover car shoots go and show you a little more of the process than what you usually see if you're just seeing the photo on the cover or the occasional cover car story. So today brings us to the dead of winter for obviously a winter shoot. We are out in Snoqualmie Pass. We've got Sam's Land Cruiser out here making sure we get around and a pretty unique vehicle for you guys that's gonna be coming out on a handbook next winter. So let me show you what we've got. So if you're not familiar with this vehicle, I wasn't before the shoot. This is a Pinsgauer. It's a highly capable off-road rig, and the owner of this vehicle does a lot of search and rescue and actually trains people how to do search and rescue. So it's the perfect vehicle to take out in the snow, and we're actually gonna be getting access to some roads that are typically closed this time of year due to heavy snowfall, and looking forward to taking you guys along as we do that. So we just stumbled across this super cool bridge overhead. So we stopped, got the Pinsgauer parked under it, and Bunker and Matt are shooting photo and video. So we've got the photos for the cover. Matt's doing a cover car story, which we're gonna try to be implementing more of when we've got a cool story of a vehicle that's on the cover to tell you guys that whole piece. So getting a bunch of content from these shoots to share with you guys. So this is exactly why we are starting to show the behind the scenes of our cover car shoots, because this is the type of stuff that you guys just don't see when you get your handbook in the mail. We've got the cruiser stuck a little bit and the Pinsgauer further up stuck there. So we gotta get the cruiser out of where it is currently to use the winch and kind of pull the Pinsgauer back straight onto the path that we're on. But this is probably gonna be as high as we go. We've got plenty of snow to get the cover shot that we're looking for, and it's not worth getting further up and getting stuck even further into this already closed road. So we're gonna go try to get the cruiser unstuck. I'll show you guys this process here. And this just goes to show the importance of having the proper search and rescue equipment and not going somewhere where your vehicle can't handle. Fortunately, we came with a trained search and rescue professional. So we're good to go. There you go. 
Cruiser is officially unstuck. Fortunately, we're going downhill so we can let gravity do the rest from here. We're gonna back the Penzgauer up, flip around in the same spot, and be on our way. All right, both rigs are officially unstuck. Let's get back on the trail. All right, we're setting up the next location here. We found a, a Y in the road. Got one here and here. Matt's gonna set up a camera in the snow so we can get kind of a half dome shot uh, with the camera half under the snow, half above it, and let him drive over the top of it and get some shots of him going in untracked snow. an awesome open clearing here that's got a couple lanes worth of width a cool bridge in the background um, so we're definitely gonna get some shots here photo and video and i think we're gonna have ben show us a little bit of what a search and rescue training would look like um, so we can include some of that in the actual cover car story to show you guys a little bit more of what the sarpins brand is all about and what it is that ben does uh, with this vehicle on a regular basis So Ben was just explaining to us that the whole kind of exoskeleton that you see on the vehicle, it has two ladders on each side and the rooftop pedestal uh, was all custom fabricated by Mule. It was a design that he drew up and then they took care of the fabrication for him. And Sunflare actually su supplied solar panels that cover the entirety of the roof and feed into this 24 volt system that he'll explain here in a second. If the batteries ever go completely dead, I would be stranded. It's difficult to get a jump on a 24 volt system without another 24 volt truck. Yeah. So I have a DC DC charger that keeps uh, secondary 12 volt system charge uh, and power several of the uh, accessories that are only 12 volt. And then it's also run connected to the solar and serves as an MPPT controller that keeps both systems charged. Also has onboard air. So I can air my tires back up uh, after we get done here in the snow. All right, you guys, that's gonna wrap up our shoot for today. We've got all the photo and video content we need. This will be for a handbook next winter. We're trying to get a year ahead here. Uh, we'll probably drop this video around the same time. But if you guys like these behind the scenes videos, do us a favor, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. We're definitely gonna be doing more of this style content. We're getting the rigs aired back up right now because we dropped the tires back down to about 10 PSI. But then we're gonna hit the highway, grab some lunch, and that's another successful shoot.